Hello friends, this video on body fluids and circulation part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Have a look at that. What do we mean by antigen-antibody interaction? Let us take the example of the blood group A. Now in case of blood group A, you have the antigens A present on the surface. Right, so the blue colors always represent antigen A. Now, due to the presence, now let us suppose the, these blood cells are present in the plasma where similar protein structures are present. That is, similar proteins like antigen A. So, similar protein structures are present in the plasma. Now, what would happen now? If similar protein structures are pre present in the plasma, they tend to attack the antigens which are present on the surface. And what happens when they attack? They attach themselves to the uh, antigens and they cause destruction of the RBCs. So, clumping of RBCs take place which can even lead to death. And this is where the concept of compatibility comes into picture. And this is the reason why many patients died in earlier days because of transfusion of blood because maybe the patient had say one particular blood group some other blood group which was not compatible was passed into the patient's body so what happened was the antibodies which were present in the plasma they attacked the antigens of the new blood and as a result the all the blood cells got destroyed and that is how it led to the death of the patient so you always need to remember that similar protein structures will always attack the antigens and it will cause destruction of the rbcs so here in this case if it is a if it is a antigen which is present the antibody should be the opposite one so the antibody should be of b type right now how do we denote antigen now as i said there are two types of antigens that is a and b right so these are the two types of antigens so whenever we want to denote antigens we denote them by a or b because they are the of two types now how do you denote antibodies now whenever you have to denote antibody you denote it as anti a that is antibody a anti b that is antibody b so please remember that anti a that is antibody a will always attack antigen a right so antigen a should never be present with antibody a because antibody a will attack antigen a similarly antibody b will always attack antigen b so and a a should never be present together that is why in physics we say like charges repel so similar thing happens here also that is similar protein structures will attack and it will cause destruction of rbcs and that is what we don't want please remember this simple concept because this will help you to understand how one particular blood group is compatible with another particular blood group and how it is not with some other blood groups Please have a look at this slide once again if you have not got it at once. So please remember that antigen A and antibody A, they will destroy each other. That is antibody A will destroy antigen A. Similarly, antibody B will destroy antigen B. So these things should not be together. So in this case, when you have similar antibody, they will destroy it and that is a warning for you that they should not be present together. Now keeping in mind this simple concept, we will see which blood group is compatible with which other blood groups. So now we will talk about the antigen antibody compatibility by considering the different blood So if you consider antigen A. So antigen A is compatible with which antibody? Anti antibody B. That's because similar similar is repel. That is similar similar they will destroy each other. So A will be compatible with antibody B. Similarly antigen. So here you can see in this case this is antigen A. So they have the blue antigens. So they will be compatible with the green antibodies because they will not be able to attack them. They are of different types. Again, antigen B will be compatible with antibody A. Again, they are also of the opposite types. So here the antigens are green but the antibodies are blue. So they will not be able to attack. 
What about AB? That is antigen AB. Now AB has both the antigens, both A and B. So obviously if any of these are present, I mean even if you have this one, the blue ones, the blue ones will attack the blue ones and it will cause distraction. Even if you have the green ones, they will attack the green ones, they will also cause distraction. So in that case, in case of AB, we do not want any type of antibody, neither A nor B. So we do not want any antibody. What about the blood group O? Blood group O is compatible with both the antibodies. That's because blood group O does not have any proteins on their surface. So they are like okay with green or blue. Nobody is going to attack them because there are no proteins present on their surface. So O anti. If, if the antigen is going to be O, that means basically there are nil antigen, no antigen in case of blood group O. So it is going to be compatible with both the antibodies, anti-A as well as anti-B. So you are clear which antigen is compatible with which antibody. So once you are clear with this, you will be able to understand the donor acceptor compatibility. So let us try to understand donor acceptor compatibility for each blood group starting from A, B, A, B and then O. So you would have often seen that when a patient is in need of blood in a hospital, they, they first of all identify the blood group of the patient and then they say that okay, if the patient is for example, say the patient is A positive, so they need a blood group which is compatible with A positive. Now how do they know that which all blood groups will be compatible with A positive? So we will understand this from these slides that which all blood groups will be compatible with blood group A. Now let us assume here that blood group A is going to be the acceptor. So somebody who needs blood is acceptor and somebody who donates blood is the donor. Right? Quite simple. So let us suppose the person who needs blood is of blood group A. So that means he has, if I say he has blood group A, that means he has antigen A. That is why the blue antigens, blue antigens are the antigens A. Right? So now let us see out of all the blood groups, who all will be compatible with blood group A and who all will not be. Now let us talk about another now let us talk about A. Now this is the acceptor, so somebody who needs blood. So this is acceptor and here we are going to talk about the donors. Now let us suppose a donor comes, somebody who wants to donate blood to this person with blood group A. So he also has blood group A. So what do you think will happen in this case? Now somebody with a. Now this person, first let us talk about the acceptor. The person who has blood group A, it is very obvious that the antibodies which are present in the plasma, what are they? They are antibody B. They are anti B. Right? So everywhere it is anti B. Because if anti A would have been present there, then all these red blood cells would have not existed. So now since it is antigen A for this person, that means the antibodies which are present is going to be the B ones, that is the anti-B. Now what would happen if a donor comes who has blood group A? So now if the donor has blood group A, that means the donor also has the same antigens, right? Now what would happen if this blood or these blood cells come inside the body of this acceptor? What will happen? The antibodies which are present here are antibodies B. So these antibodies B will not attack antigen A. Right? So that means somebody with blood group A can be a donor. So this can be a donor because they are safe. The antibodies here, they are not going to attack the antigens in A. The next, let us suppose the donor has blood group B. In that case, what will happen? They have antigens B, that is the green antigens. Now, if they, this blood cells comes inside the body of this person, what will happen? These antibodies are going to attack these antigens. Therefore, B cannot be a donor. Let us look at what happens if it is AB. Now, if AB tries to enter inside this territory, 
In that case, these antibodies B will attack the green antigens because AB also has the B antigens. So AB can also not be a donor. What about O? O doesn't have any antigens. So it is free of antigens. So if you actually make A and O enter these, the antibodies B will not attack them. So in this case also these antibodies B will not be able to attack any of the antigens. So this O is also safe as a donor. So who all can be a donor for blood group A? A and O. So A and O can donate to somebody with blood group A. Right? So are you able to understand the concept how the antigen antibody reaction interaction actually tells you which blood groups are compatible and which blood groups are not compatible. So similarly let us look at the donor accepted compatibility for blood group B. So now here somebody who is blood group B is the acceptor. So in this case what would be the antibodies here? The antibodies would be anti-A. Right? So they will have antibodies A in the plasma. Fine. Now let us try start the A study with blood group A. So if blood group A wants to donate to this person, what will happen? As soon as these blood cells enter here in his territory, what will happen? These antibodies A will directly attack the antigens A and it will destroy them. So, A cannot act as a donor here. But if it is a B, B can donate to a B. Because in this case, antibodies A will not attack the antigen B. So, B can be a donor. If it is AB, again in AB, since they have both A and B antigens, so this antibody A will attack the antigen A. So, AB also cannot be a donor. And what about O? O, since O doesn't have any of the antigens, so O will be able to donate blood to anybody. Because see, the antibodies will not be able to attack them because there are no antigens at all. So if blood group B is the acceptor, then somebody with B can donate and somebody with O can also donate. Now let us look at the same. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.